When installing WordPress on your website, something that has never been made very clear is how to install it on the root layer of your website. Unless your WordPress blog is a secondary part of your website, we'd always recommend installing WordPress on the root directory. This is better for SEO, usability, and aesthetics. Keeping your whole website inside a subfolder doesn't really have any advantages, unless, like we said, WordPress is going to be a separate and secondary part to your main website. So whether you're starting a new installation or moving an established one, this is how we would recommend doing it. I've installed WordPress on one of our test domains, create6.co.uk, and as you can see, it's on forward slash WordPress, and I've done nothing other than a basic installation. Now, if I go onto the, uh, the back end on WP Admin, all I need to do to relocate my WordPress folder onto the root layer is to go to Settings, and then here where you have WordPress URL, and site address URL. You simply remove the word WordPress. If you were changing the folder from WordPress to blog, for example, you would change that there. But moving it onto the root layer is slightly different. So we remove that, and then all we have to do is go down to the bottom of the page and click Save Changes. Now, this is where people sort of uh, panic a little bit because obviously it says page not found. And the obvious reason for this is that the files on the server are still inside the WordPress folder they're not on the root. So if I go back to Dreamweaver and I go into the WordPress folder, I'm going to simply select all the files that are inside the WordPress folder. I'm going to drag and relocate them onto the server root. As you can see, they're all jumping out onto the root layer. And once that's done, simply remove the string after the question mark push enter and you can log in with your username and password and as you can see we're using WordPress on the root layer and everything is all automat um, automatically updated and there's nothing more that you need to do so whether you're um, moving an ex a, a new installation or relocating an existing established location you follow the exact same process Thanks for watching this week's web design video blog. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them on our supporting blog post at creadesign.co.uk forward slash blog forward slash videos.